Hi everyone, this is Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television Definite Aquascape TV and this is another part of JBL's products presentation which I recorded at Interzoo 2014 Fair in Nuremberg in Germany. In this part, in this video, I will show you the introduction to CO2 fertilization. One other thing that I mentioned earlier on and I couldn't show you is the sort of tool ah, set yeah. so you can actually carry you know, it would be annoying if you're actually planting 200 plants and you keep having to go back from to your uh, whatever you're using to, to get into your tank. So uh, you know, that can make it a little mm -hmm. bit easier. Yeah. Right. So from left to right, what we try to recreate is more or less the same tank. Um, and what we're trying to, to do is that lots of people are trying to find out how much it's going to be to, 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 to have a planted tank. Um, in this case, uh, I, can, I was told that it was not far from 200 euros to, 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 to plant this tank. Now, some people might be put off and say, well, that's not enough, it doesn't look like a carpet, so it, you know, that's not the, the finish that they wanted to look for. You know, I spent a lot of money and it's not what I wanted. Yes. But bear in mind, this is three days. Yeah. So you can see on the next one, which is one week on, how much growth you've had with mm -hmm. CO2. So it's quite yes. easy to demonstrate to customers that yes, it, it works. Working, yeah. yeah, quite clearly. Mm -hmm. So this is the CO2 diffuser? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. And that's one area where almost every time I get questioned, how long should the diffuser be? What type of diffuser should you use? Um, what's it really, really important for people to realize? It's not the bubble that gets to the top that is going to actually feed carbon to your plants. Mm -hmm. It's the micro bubble that break, and you can't really see. But if you if you check the bottle, uh, sorry, the bottom bu bubble mm -hmm. in terms of size, and if you look at the top, yes, how much smaller, smaller they are, yes. mm -hmm. each level hits a little uh, bump and they fragment and these micro bubbles are the ones that mm -hmm. uh, the plants are going yeah. to benefit from. Now of course in this particular tank we didn't hide it because we want to, to, to show people that you know CO2 is in there but in most cases you want to, yeah. to, to hide in a, in yeah, a corner. Actually they are really smaller you can see it much much smaller easy, yes. and, mm -hmm. and that's, that's at every level so in this case it's a contact time so the answer is the longer the diffuser yes, even the though it might not mm -hmm. be pretty the better. Yes. So you can purchase ex extension uh, to this uh, system, so you can you can cater for whatever size your tank is in terms yeah. of depth. But if you move to the last one, which is three weeks on, you can see, okay, um, yes. there was enough plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how quickly does it actually work? The answer is there, basically. Mm -hmm. Somebody yesterday asked me if the um, fish changed color as well, but no, of course, we didn't have the same fish. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> uh, but, you know, um, we, we, we use some of the soils, which I think is the next subject. Um, however, you can use other types of soils, mm -hmm. uh, substrates in, in front. Um, in this case, you've got Zanzibar, which yeah. you can see also on the stand yeah. over there. Is this like a decoration? It's a decoration. Yes. So, you know, if, if, if you fancy yellow, why not? Mm -hmm. If you fancy orange, why not? Yes. There's no... That's, that's the concept of um, Proscape. You don't, you don't have to have um, what you would imagine. You can just create your own world. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah. So, for those that can't read um, German, the left-hand side is without CO2, the right-hand side is with CO2. And you can actually observe things like the carpet particularly, sorry, the carpeting plant particularly uh, growing. And at the same time, you can look at the plant uh, soil substrate which we just released. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, okay. Okay, so the left one is without CO2? Correct. And the right one is with CO2? With CO2. Okay. So you can see things like the ferns particularly just growing much mm -hmm. faster, yeah. the plants in the background being a bit more uh, bushy, 
uh, and the carpeting uh, plants obviously growing much much faster mm -hmm. what's misleading is that uh, they use quite a little bit of uh, chatter moss on, on the on the left hand side and it looks like it, it's it's thriving because it doesn't need uh -huh, really that yes, much co2 it stays, it stays but the same yes no matter if there yeah. is co2 or not um, those particular plants they're more um, requiring things like potassium mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> So that's not really CO2 that will be um, as important. Yeah. So I think some people get misled by that particular section of the tank. Okay guys, so this was the introduction to CO2 in the aquarium. And in the next video I will show you some equipment manufactured by JBL used for CO2 fertilization. If you like this video, please share it with others. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my page on Facebook or bookmark my website to be updated about new videos. And now, thank you for your attention. This was Piotr Kieszkowski from the Aquarium Television, Definite Aquascape TV.